dear students a good morning to everyone today i shall discuss on the topic diseases and symptoms due to abiotic causes abiotic causes means non living things it may includes uh, environmental factors or uh, deficiency or excess of nutrients and pollutants etc the diseases which are caused by abiotic causes which include such as black heart of potato black tip of mango tip burn of rice hair disease of rice wheat tail of cauliflower heart rot of sugar beet all these are important diseases which are caused by abiotic causes black heart of potato this is the, an important physiological disorder a storage transit and market disease of potato the symptoms usually occurs in tubers a store which are stored in poorly ventilated rooms in closely packed conditions it also occur in the field when the temperature of the soil goes above 32 degrees celsius during growth and maturation of the tubers it also occurs in the transit when the temperature inside the carrying bag a bands rises up 32 degrees celsius thus a uh, uh, set of uh, three di- distinct environmental conditions cause this disease what are those environmental conditions such as poor ventilation in the store high temperature during transit and high temperature of soil during growth and maturation of the tubers in the field the symptoms appear as dark gray to purplish or inky black discoloration in the central tissues of the tuber in the advanced stages the affected tissues may dry out and separate and in this way cavities are formed inside the uh, tuber discoloration may extend to the surface also the large size tubers are more susceptible than the small uh, one to black uh, black heart here you can see the tissues of the potato tuber slightly ch- uh, color of the ch- uh, color of the potato tuber change slightly and then it change to black the management how do you manage uh, this disease tuber should not be stored at temperature above 33 degrees celsius the storage go down should be properly ventilated and bags of the tuber should not be piled in a pile very high each other in the field if the temperature goes to very high the field should be irrigated next is the black tip of mango this disease is also known as mango necrosis or coeli or tip rot the disease does not occur in any other country this is the most common disease of mango fruits in uttar pradesh and bihar it also known to occur in west bengal haryana and punjab the south india is free from this disease black tip of mango symptoms what are the symptoms how do you identify the symptoms uh, is characterized by the necrosis of the tissues at the distal end of the fruit this portion is uh, called distal end the first symptom is the development or appearance of the a small etiolated area at the distal end which is gradually spreads turns nearly black and covers the tip completely the tip is flattened without skin turning hard and sunken the inner portion is soft and produce a dark brown liquid due to bacteria the disease occurs when the fruits are 6 to 8 weeks old or when they are reaching ripening stage causes what are the different causes different workers have worked on uh, this disease Sen in 1943 from Bihar Das Gupta and Verma in 1939 to 1949 from UP they have worked on black tip of mango and they reported in orchard vicinity of the brick kilns they also reported that the they further uh, recommended that the smoke of these kill polluted air with the toxic gases such as sulfur dioxide and cause necrosis of the tissues of the fruit later on das gupta 
and then in 1960 finally stated that boron was deficient in the mango fruits which was exposed to brick kilns fume. Since then it is known that the disease is caused due to boron deficiency. How do you manage? Uh, 1 to 2 sprays of borax at the rate of 3 to 4 kg per 500 liter water at an early stage of the fruiting. Next disease is the tip burn of rice. Tip burn of rice is also uh, known as Dakina, Ukara, Pansuk. In India, it is known since early age, early 1914. What are the causes? There is no anonymity about the causal agent of the disease. Since this water is common in wet soil or in water load conditions. The reduced supply of oxygen to the root is considered as its cause. Under experimental condition, the disease was reproduced by preventing aeration of the roots. According to Dastur in 1937, they recommended the disease was caused due to lack of nitrogen. What are the symptoms? The characteristic symptoms are drying of the leaves. The affected leaves show a lack of luster. Lack of luster means there is no shining. They show tendency to bronzing and later exposed at the tip. The drying progress, drying of the leaves progress down along the margins and finally whole leaf completely dries. Here you can see the symptoms of the tip burn of rice. In advanced stage, entire plants may dry and wither. The leaves and the stalk burn brown, turn brown. Yellow patches and dried leaves may be seen scattered throughout the field. Uh, there are uh, many workers who have reported on the management of this disease. Dastur in 1937 reported that the field should be drained off in early stage of plant growth and then ammonium sulphate at the rate of 30 to 50 kg per hectare should be applied. However, Misra and Chakravarti in 1955 pointed out that the relief from ammonium sulphate was only temporary if the water load conditions persisted. This order appears about 2 to 3 weeks in water load conditions. Finally, Sina and Singh also recommended that the green manoeuvring reduce the incidence of tip burn and increases the yield. Next disease, the most important disease of rice, that is Kaira disease of rice. This disease was first reported by Dr. Y. L. Nene from Tri region of Uttar Pradesh in the year 1966. This disease caused about 25% loss in yield. This was the first such report in the world. He was internationally recognized. He was received International Rice Year 1966 Prize by Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations. The disease caused due to zinc deficiency. The symptoms, what are the symptoms? The, the characteristic symptoms of the disease uh, include discoloration of the lower leaves, which, occur, uh, which occurs 10 to 15 days after transplanting. And the leaves of the disease plant show chlorosis at the base. Chlorosis means uh, destroying of the chlorophyll. And the large number of a small brown or bronze spots appear on the lamina surface. And these spots collide to each other and form large spots or bigger spots. And ultimately, entire leaf turns bronze colored and dries. The growth of the disease plants are stunted. The root growth is also restricted and usually the main roots turn brown and the final uh, finer roots are destroyed in severe cases plants fail to grow further and such plants do not produce years sometimes there is a natural recovery of the plants and some of them may produce years with few grains for management Two foliar spraying with a mixture of 2 kg of zinc sulphate and 1 kg of slag lime in 400 liters of water per acre completely controlled 
of this disease, of this order of the rice plants, first a strength should be given at the appearance of the symptoms, when it uh, notice. And second a strength should be given after 10 days later. We tell of cauliflower. Cauliflower is one of the most important vegetable crops of India. The deficiency of molybdenum generally occurs in acid soil when the soil pH is below 5.5. This disease is due to molybdenum deficiency. The symptoms include in young plants the deficiency symptoms are chlorosis of the leaf margins. Chlorosis means destroying of the chlorophyll and the whole leaves may turn white. The leaf blades do not develop properly where the deficiency is severe and only the midrib develop. This condition is known as whip tail. The growing point of the plant is also deformed which prevents the development. This disease can be or this order, this order can be corrected by the application of lime or dolomite limestone to raise the soil pH up to 6.5 or higher. The quantity of lime is determined by initially measuring the pH of the soil. The soil application of sodium molybdate 10 to 15 kg per hectare effectively controls the, this deficiency. Last one is the heat, hard rot of sugar beets. Boron deficiency of sugar beets has been termed as hot rot. It was so cold long before it was realized that lack of boron caused the disease. It is, this disease is due to the boron deficiency. The symptoms characteristically causes the death of the growing point and the development of a black hot rot. Before deficiency has reached this stage, the leaves which may have cracked petioles will have become progressively smaller and somewhat misshapen. After the death of the growing point, a small bunches of leaves develop in the older leaf axil, older, older leaf axil, and the crown is very liable to become hollow and rot. For controlling of this disease or this deficiency disease, apply application of boron to the soil with fertilizer or separately at the rate of 3 to 5 pound per hectare or 1.35 to 5.02 to 2.25 kg per acre actual boron for table beads and a spraying of boron at the rate 1 pound per acre that means 0 0.45 kg per acre actual boron is a spray on the foliage twice time in mid season also give good control of deficiency symptoms. Thank you.